KH Storm Team Weather with meteorologist Aaron Castleberry. We're waking up this morning to a little bit of sunshine. We'll wake up to some sunshine. It's not sunny outside right now, but there are some clouds starting to develop off towards the west, and that's going to continue to increase throughout the area heading out the entire Monday. This is ahead of our next storm system. You can see we have a lot of rain and thunderstorm activity out towards the west. This will sweep in into the overnight tonight and into tomorrow, bringing us some rain chances. Now this morning heading off to the bus stop, we should be it's up with a sunny start 62 degrees this morning at the bus stop. Now getting home this afternoon, mostly cloudy skies, temperatures in the mid 80s by this afternoon. Live looking hardy. You can see the moon, some stars out there this morning. We are nice and clear, clear here in Jonesboro. We're sitting at 63 degrees. North winds at three miles per hour. Temperatures across the region. We're on the cooler side. It's 63 in Kennett, 64 in Paragol, 64 in Pocahontas this morning. It's 61 in Corning and Walnut Ridge, 68 in Ash Flat, 61 in Batesville, Newport, and in Searcy. Throughout your day, we'll start off with that sunshine, but by lunchtime, starting to see more clouds, 79 degrees, 85 by 2. As you head into the evening time hours, uh, those clouds really start to thicken up, and rain chances start to be reintroduced by 8 o'clock. Now, that cold front moves in later on tonight. Now, we'll see some scattered showers through, uh, heading into the first part of your day. Some of that rain could be heavy at times. This is 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. We should start to see everything move out by 10 o'clock at night on your day on Tuesday. So we're drying out heading into your evening and overnight tomorrow night as we see drier air start to filter into region eight and some cooler air as well. We have a pretty nice cool forecast heading into the next eight days. So 86 today, 77 tomorrow with that 40% chance of some showers, mainly in the morning time. We should start to see some clearing by the afternoon. 78 on Wednesday, those clouds kind of stick around with us. By Thursday, 79, 80 on Friday, 80 on Saturday for the A-State game. Maybe a few more showers on Sunday, a high of 80, 82 on Monday. Now look at those overnight lows. We'll start in the 60s this weekend, or the, the first part of your week, 65 tomorrow morning, 60 on Tuesday morning. But look at the temperatures as you head into the end of the week. Week. overnight lows in the 50s mid to upper 50s out there that just shows that nice fall crisp air moving into region 8 as we head into the middle and end of the week chase and you know that first taste of the fall we're getting oh so close to the first day of fall it comes in about a week or so mm -hmm. so we're getting closer and closer and closer to that I absolutely love it and you can tell like you said with those overnight lows I know we got like that little bit of rain possibly over the next little bit but I mean once we hit that stretch right there with 70s you know low 80s absolutely love it Aaron gorgeous Just weather couldn't ask for better thank you